The Orca, the largest vessel to ever dock in this country, has arrived at the port of Port of Spain. The Orca is owned by an international shipping agent, CMA CGM. It is 294 meters in length and can carry 9 tons of cargo and travels at a speed of 26 knots. In welcoming the vessel on its first visit to this country, Trade and Industry Minister Stephen Cadiz says its arrival augurs well for the economy and the region. This, um, this new route opened up here, uh, where it's a, a more of an east-west route, um, you know, coming from the Far East to Trinidad and back, going through the Panama Canal. It's, yeah, that, that augurs very, very well for, um, for our exports and also for, um, for, for import. The Orca was built in Korea in just about six months and has the capacity to carry over 5,000 containers. Minister Cady says it's his wish that more transshipment liners of this magnitude come to Trinidad. You're going to see a lot more Orca-type vessels coming through here. Of course, with the widening of the Panama Canal, um, we are looking at Trinidad and Tobago becoming a much bigger transshipment point um, for this part of the world. You know, I mean, geographically, we are ideally located, especially right off the Panama Canal. Chief Executive Officer of the Port of Port of Spain, Wanga Kunstra, says if 11 vessels similar to the Orca came to Trinidad, it will generate enough revenue to build a new port. That is 1.1 billion US dollars. That is equivalent to the cost of the new port. Because the next generation, I won't see it, has to deal with 22 wide containers, 350 meters long, and I don't know how wide. The Orca leaves Trinidad on Saturday and heads to Asia and the Pacific for 77 days before it returns. For CNC3, I am Otto Carrington.